I might as well keep the parts of the dialogue in. I see. Oh yeah, this is doing the uh, thing, isn't it? Where you have the persuasion needles in your focus shot. Right. Maybe that's part of it. Maybe that's why I wasn't supposed to play as you. Ah, oh, fuck. Hmm. Yeah, this mode is going to be much easier. I imagine this game would be relatively easy to get done if you just have enough determination. Unless, like, the final, like, chapter that you have to get through is, like, comprised of the entire final boss in Mountain of Faith twice over. In which case, yeah. I could see how that would be bad. keep getting too greedy with the grazing, but I should really stop doing that because I don't need life pieces, and uh, bomb pieces aren't nearly as helpful. Hey, it saves the amount of bombs that I have anyway, so I don't need to worry about them disappearing if I die too many. Yo, if you don't tell, I'm gonna kill you. Oh, yeah, the... Right. You best, uh, never... You best not tell me that it's at the mountain, then... Yeah, the bullets are definitely pretty fast in this game. Pretty sudden, too. Amazing I got out of that situation. I've been expecting you. Oh, actually, I just realized something. I was going to ask whatever happened to like the text at the bottom if there's an enemy and shows you where the boss is, but then I just noticed a little patch of red on like the bottom of the art border. Huh. Tricky tricky. Though uh, I think I prefer the thing that says enemy because at least that one, like, it tells you what it is. If someone picked this game up, they would never notice that that even correlated to anything. I don't know what the tiny text every once in a while is about, but I can't read it. One thing that does kind of rub me the wrong way about this point device mode is that the music restarts from wherever it was when the... when it, like, saved. I mean, can't the music just keep going instead? That would be so much better. Kind of like how... In Impossible Spell Card, you can pick, just go to the next fight, and music will keep going. You know? Alright.
you're still crazy and they have no idea who you are or why you do the things that you do. Managed to make the attack not as bad by like dancing around them and getting through them before they can even close in. And then I completely messed up all of my efforts. Right at the end there. Still don't know how I'm expected to do this. No, seriously, where, where's the opening? Do I get like impossible spell card items at this point to get through this? Because I kind of need them. It wouldn't force you to use a bomb, would it? No, seriously, what am I supposed to do? Because I have a hard time believing that this game would literally force me to use a bomb. They all just close in. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? You're supposed to piece together from like really subtle clues. I only just guess that's what you have to do. How the fuck do you do that on legacy mode without using a bomb? Or losing all of your lives? How do you how are you supposed to know? Bloody hell. Yeah, I don't get it either. I guess? That's the only thing I've been able to zoom so far. Is this around the point where I uh, died last time? I think it's near here. Definitely this stage. But I don't know how far away I am. I don't remember this attack at all. Was it like the last attack or? No, I have my doubts. That attack seemed super easy. And it was way too short. Like, the... The health of the attack that I died on was, like, much larger. Ah, yes, it was after this, I'm sure. Ah, yes. I remember this part. As tempted as I am to get those items, this is a better long-term plan. At one point I just kind of realized that I wasn't hitting him. So I had to unfocus. Ooh. Oh damn, I maxed out on bombs. Ah, yes, this is the boss that I died on. No, I think she just said, ah, a human. Horrible flashbacks to Mountain of Faith.
I'm not sure what that was about, but it was super easy. Oh god, not more! <laughs> not more! I hate the bosses that move. I got so close to that. Finally. Yeah, I mean, you probably could have just asked for help. Yeah, I mean, if you have that power, why did you want to invade Earth instead of just getting help? Don't worry, I did see that bullet that I almost hit. I wasn't about to run into it, I knew what I was doing. Damn it, my plan was to like, move at the last second so that they would all be like going the same direction. Give me the money. I want the money. Oh god, not these. Are you like a fairy version of Marissa or something? Come on. Do something that isn't Earthlight Ray, come on. Oh. Wait. I've seen you before, but I don't know anything about you. Wait. I knew I remember your name, you're a clown piece. That's about everything I know about you. Your name. So <laughs> that's about it. That's about all I know about you. Wait, are the stars aimed directly at me? No, they're not. Because if they were, they'd be easy to scream. Okay.
Maybe if I get far enough, I'll finally learn something about you other than your name. Or the fact that you wear a silly hat. Though not quite as silly as that other silly hat, though. That hat is my favorite. If it was a TF2 hat, I would wear it. What class would it even be for, though? Pyro? Yeah, the Pyro. That just makes the most sense, doesn't it? Maybe I need to see, stay closer to the bottom of the screen. Because the lasers look like they're supposed to be like the main event of this attack. When I've only been dodging the things that would turn into lasers. Wait, you lose one power every time you restart? Oh wait, no, that's... power I was at previously, maybe? That would be weird. No, you definitely lose one power every time you restart. What? That's horrible. Why? What reason would there be for that? Oh, the final boss. Better drop power item in between spell cards. Because otherwise, I have no way of getting it back. I wish grazing didn't make him fall slower. Wait, why am I losing a ton all of a sudden? Now I'm not just losing one. Yeah, what the fuck? Hold on, does it say anything about that? No, it doesn't say anything about that. Which is why I had no idea that it existed. Why? What purpose is there for that? Oh my god, finally. Oh my god, crazy laser beams! That one was a lot easier. Oh. Holy fuck, what? I'm sorry, but what? I'm sorry, but fuck the what? Oh, I do not want to die after making it through that. Oh, good. Whew. Wait, those, the green and yellow stars don't go towards you, but the big ones do. So I could just... Or at least the beginning of the attack. And then it turns into chaotic madness, and you've got to dodge green and yellow stars. And I hope that you don't die.
A fairy from hell. Okay, I knew you were a fairy, but a fairy from hell. Oh, no. What is with who silences crying children? That is a, that has been said two games in a row, at least now. Are you a babysitter or something? All right, so this attack is all right, but you have three extra health bars, it seems. I haven't been paying attention to the stars in the corner, so I don't know if that's a lot or not. I was too distracted by the fact that there was a tiny moon. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, do I, do I need to stay behind the moon? Ah, I see. But I gotta, gotta cut up. Yeah, gotta come out from behind it to be able to shoot you. Ah, fuck. Uh, I should really start on the other side of it. Like go over here. And maybe follow the moon a little bit better. Never thought I'd talk about following the moon. But I can't shoot you? Wait, you don't have a health bar. Wait, is this like a survival spell card or something? I've only heard legends about these. Holy fuck! No, 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 no. Okay, god damn it. Yeah. The timer seems very short, I guess. Ah, I had a chance to go left, but I didn't know it was going to be there. Okay, it seems like there's a pattern to this. For all I know, the stars that fall down from the top could be RNG. But, as far as I've seen, the moon and, like, the laser things, I mean, they're not actually lasers, but there are so many bullets that might as well be a laser, always go the same way. They always do the same thing. I don't know why I went to the right there. I immediately realized it was a bad idea. These are homing in on nothing, so I can only assume it's a survival thing. Oh. Okay, I went too far. There we go. Okay, let me check something. Okay, so you're not the final boss, but you're the penultimate boss. Okay. That makes sense. Ah, oh, I almost had it. Okay. I'm starting to learn what I need to do. And I don't want to waste bombs, because you get to keep those, and I want to use them on the final boss. Because you know how a nightmarish Mountain of Faith was, only having, like, the five power levels as your bombs. I want as many as I can get, just in case. Ah. Okay, so it's a bad idea to go that way. I should just stay in like, the area that I was. For some reason, this reminds me both in like this what's happening and the music reminds me of the boss of Pause the Head. Oh, it even it reminds me even more of it now that I realize that it's like a rotating laser kind of thing. 
which if you haven't played Pause Ahead, you're missing out. Go play that game if you can. It's a really unique platformer. Like, incredibly unique. Oops, I should have been down there. I thought I had a smaller window of opportunity than I actually did. You know what? Screw it. Damn it. I should just, like, stay in this area, kind of. Instead of trying to go, like, up and to the left when that happens. Because the area that I can be after that is actually a lot bigger than I think it's going to be. Yeah, there we go. Now, and then I need to make my way up and to the left. Yeah, no, no way I'm ever going to be able to, like, beat Legacy Mode. I did that in a weird way, but it worked out somehow. And I got back onto normal schedule before dying, because that's going to happen a lot during this boss. Honestly, I like the bosses that have, like, a pattern way more than I like the bosses that are just a ton of RNG bullets. Just, like, a swarm of tiny bullets is horrible. But something like this, where you gotta, like, learn the pattern, that, uh, makes more logical sense. Oh god, I should have gone over to the, uh, left there. Stars make this so much more difficult than it needs to be. I'm just gonna start focusing unless I need to unfocus. Oh, I almost got further than I did before. It's okay. I can do this. It just requires trial and error. Oh, more people just voted on what fan games I should play after I'm done with the series, so I gotta write that down real quick. Ah, for a second I forgot what we were doing. No, it's still this. Too early. Maybe I should stay, like, mostly over to that side. Just let whatever happens happen. If I'm, like, waiting for the moon to go by. Like this. Okay, never mind. I was supposed to go left there, that's right. Whoops, I was paying attention to the lasers and not the moon. Hold on, I'll be right back. And so, I take forever, leaving a huge gap in the waveform of the audio. And that's a great place to split it up, don't you think? Trust me, there's a lot more video, and I have to split it up here. Like, jeez. Anyway, until next episode.